Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman Lois. This is going to be a theory video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about a theory in regards to something that the showrunner of Superman Lois mentioned recently in an interview with The Flash podcast. All the links and everything you need to know is in the description below. Click on the link, read the whole interview. We've got at least one more video coming out regarding some of the Flash podcast questions because it's a very long, in-depth interview. And I actually talked about this in a video last week. We were actually talking about the potential of a Supergirl in Superman Lois and the potential of them actually recasting Melissa to have a new Supergirl on Superman Lois' Earth. Because in last week's season finale of Superman Lois, it was revealed that Superman Lois is not in the Arrowverse proper. It's not set on Earth Prime. In fact, it's set on a different Earth. And so there's always the chance that it could be someone different. And Todd Helping actually suggested this in the interview with the Flash podcast. So we're going to be going over that once again. But today we have a new theory, and I have to give a shout out to one of my members on the channel, Nathan, who suggested the theory to me and his fellow members in a Zoom call that we did earlier today. And if you guys want to become a member of the channel and join in with our discussions in the Zoom call that we normally do once a month, all you have to do is click the join button next to the subscribe button. And by clicking join and becoming a member, no matter what tier you want to be, you're going to be able to talk to us in our monthly member Zoom call. Anyway, so that's just a quick shout out to Nathan because he brought up this theory and now I'm going to expand on it in today's video. So first things first, let's read out what the Flash podcast actually asked Todd Helbing and what Todd replied. Do you have an idea in your head as to what this world Supergirl is like? Whether she would be played by Melissa Benoist or someone else, although we would obviously love to see Melissa, do you sort of know what and where she would be in this world? So Todd replies, yeah, it would not be the Supergirl from the Arrowverse. It would be our version, so we would invent a new backstory for her, the same way that we did with the Lucy Lane, General Lane, and John Diggle. They may be their doppelganger and they may look exactly the same, but it would be a completely different story. So he actually brings up the fact that you know, it could be Melissa if they were able to get Melissa on the show. Could be exactly the same, be a doppelganger, just like Lucy, General Lane, and Diggle. Apparently, the Diggle we saw in the Superman Lois finale is in fact not our Diggle, which doesn't make sense, but we talked about that before in previous videos last week. However, let's continue on with this. So, there is always the chance that it's going to be played by someone new. And that's because Todd says it would not be the Supergirl from the Arrowverse and it would be their version. They would invent a new backstory. So nothing that we've seen previously on Supergirl would matter about this version of Supergirl if Supergirl ever came to Superman Lois. And now this isn't a confirmation that Supergirl is going to be coming to Superman Lois or any version. However, it's just a suggestion and we can take that suggestion and think about the possibilities about if a version of Supergirl did show up, who would that be? So, today's theory is actually going to be about a different version of Supergirl who isn't a traditional Supergirl and that character is Power Girl. Now if you guys are comic book readers, you know Power Girl because Power Girl is a popular version of Supergirl. She is the Earth 2 counterpart and doppelganger of Supergirl and the first cousin to Kal-El. But this is not, you know, the normal Kal-El, it's the Superman of Earth 2 because that's where she's from. And so, with everything that's going on with Superman and Lois and with them confirming, yes, we are in the Arrowverse, but we are not on Earth Prime and the Crisis on Infinite Earth version of Superman that we've seen in the past and the Supergirl version of the character, that is a different character. That is him from Earth Prime that person still exists and probably has like a kid and everything rather than the twins. So with this being confirmed, we don't know the exact Earth number, but I don't think that really matters. This can apply to anything. It doesn't have to be Earth 2, although I believe that Stargo is on Earth 2, so I don't think Superman and Lois would be Earth 2. So with that in mind, I think Power Girl is a very good option for Superman and Lois because if they want to introduce a new backstory and everything, 
wouldn't it be easier to do a slightly different character? As it would piss off less fans, because obviously being recast, that's a big deal. So it's a very easy target to hit at if that version of the character isn't as good as the original version. And so I think differentiating Supergirl and making her power girl on Superman lowers the earth basically opens up a new wormhole of stories that they can actually tackle and do because it's not the exact same character. Yes, it is a version of Supergirl from another Earth, but she doesn't actually have the same name. And now, I would presume it would be Kara. Now, in the comics, Power Girl's name is Kara Zor-El, but it's not spelt the same way. It's just Kara Zor-El rather than E-L at the end. It's just the letter L. And so that is the differentiation between them. Plus, they wear a very different suit. Power Girl is known for wearing a white heavy suit. And she has a red cape and she has like blue gloves and blue boots. And obviously they don't have to go quite book accurate. They can update it and modernize it in any way that they like. But it would be pretty cool. We've seen a version of Superwoman, I guess you could call it, with Lana Lang from Bizarro World recently. So why not introduce more Kryptonians and more people that are related to our new version of Superman because now that is confirmed that he isn't the version that we know, it begs the question, what actually happened on Krypton? Was it different from what happened on Earth Prime to the Superman that we know previously? And a big question is, why hasn't Kara zor arrived on their Earth like she did on Earth Prime or on Earth 38 where she used to be because Superman has been here for a long, long time and Kara should have arrived a long while ago, but she hasn't on this Earth as far as we know or Superman has yet to discover that she has arrived and that could be where they could start off a Power Girl or Supergirl story for Superman Lois. So let's just quickly talk a bit more about Power Girl and what we could expect. So. Power Girl took her cousin's place, that being Superman, in the Justice Society of America, so again that could link into Stargirl, that would be interesting, she could totally show up on Stargirl. And so after he entered into Serene Retirement, that's when she took over, and then she actually survived Crisis on Infinite Earths, which is interesting, because obviously right now with Crisis, we're dealing with the aftermath of that in the Arrowverse, and obviously she was in Crisis in the comics and she survived and she was able to come back after Crisis. And so with Supergirl gone, although Supergirl is still a thing in the Arrowverse, but with this new Earth potentially being a new timeline or, you know, a offshoot of the normal version of Superman that we've previously seen, it would be interesting to see Power Girl having survived Crisis off screen to actually come onto the screen and actually meet her cousin for the first time because I presume if they follow canon the two of them would have known each other or at least Kara would have known Cal when he was a kid and when he was on Krypton because that's how it normally goes. Cal was a baby, Kara was a teenager and so she's able to remember all of this and she was supposed to come to Earth to protect her cousin but on Superman Lois's Earth she's never done that so what has taken her that long? Is she still in the Phantom Zone? What's going on? Now, I don't exactly know any details or if they even plan to introduce Supergirl at any point to this Superman Lois world, but I just have to say it would be really cool and I'm really down for any version of Supergirl to show up and I really like when Nathan actually pointed this out because I've talked about Power Girl before. I've talked about her potentially coming onto Supergirl in the past because, you know, it would be very cool to see two good versions of Supergirl played differently, maybe by the same actor, or it could be by different actors, and it would just be interesting to see them side by side. And now with Supergirl gone, with Melissa not doing Supergirl anymore, it would be interesting to see a new version of Supergirl side by side with her cousin, because we've seen Melissa with Tyler before, but apparently that Superman is not the Superman that we currently have. And that Supergirl is off in National City on Earth Prime, so it's completely separate as of right now. So that gives us a good wormhole to place a new Supergirl in and bring out a new story. So I personally would love it. And in terms of Power Girl's powers, they're all pretty similar. She's Kryptonian. She has the same powers that Supergirl would have. 
it's just her getup is pretty different and she is normally from another earth which in this case is very very convenient because we've now found out that this is in fact not earth prime and so anything can actually happen like they can reintroduce the flash they can reintroduce arrow they can reintroduce anyone that's been in the arrowverse before they can recast them they can bring back the old actors if they so desire because now they've got a blank slate and that's what they've desired all this time because if you guys remember in season one we had diggle showing up and diggle referenced fighting alongside superman he referenced crisis he referenced oliver dying and so with that in mind I think they actually planned to have it on Earth Prime for a while, but after the success of season 1 and it being solo, I think they made the executive decision to actually split it off and have an explainer in the season finale to finally answer fans questions. And although it's a controversial move, I think they're fine with the controversy as long as they get a blank slate so that they can do any story that they like. And I understand that desire, and I think as a fan of the Arrowverse, I'm actually pretty excited to see old characters show up in new forms. And that's why I'm buzzing to hear all of these theories about like a potential Supergirl on Superman Lois, because I would really like to see it. But that about does it for today's video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Also remember you can check out my recent videos, check out my Superman Lois Season 2 Finale Review and my Flash Season 8 Finale Review. And remember we're going to be continuing to make videos throughout the off season and we also have confirmation that Stargirl Season 3 is premiering at the end of August so stay tuned for all of that. But for now, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.